This CAMP Photoshop tutorial is demonstrated in Adobe Photoshop CS3. Most or all of the techniques can be accomplished in previous versions of Photoshop. Welcome to CAMP Photoshop, the destination for new adventures and creativity. Learn more at CampPhotoshop.com. Now, Adobe Certified Expert and Head CAMP Counselor, Roger Ridpath. You are at Camp Photoshop Tutorial 007, and that has a real James Bond sound to it, doesn't it? So, why not do something James Bond-esque? What I'd like to do is show you how to paint somebody gold. And if you've seen Goldfinger, you might remember this image of a woman painted gold. Now, if you have some gold paint and someone willing to be painted gold, then uh, maybe you want to go for that. But I'd say it might be a little bit easier to pull this off in Photoshop. And once you pull it off in Photoshop, maybe you can even make your own James Bond poster. Something like this. So this is just something I made for fun with a gold woman painted on it. And what we're going to show you in tutorial 007, and I'm going to have to follow through with tutorial 008, is this finished product. But how do we get there? Well, let's get started. Remember, if you want your workspace to look like my workspace, go under Windows, choose Workspace, and Default Workspace. We're going to start with our base image, which is an image I got from iStock.com. There's some great photography over there. And one of the uh, things that will make this project a little bit easier is if you're shooting a photo, you're working with a photo of your own, or you want to find a photo on iStock or some other stock photography website, is to find one that you can easily cut out the background. And uh, I'm referring, of course, to, to everything that's not... Uh, part of the skin tone or part of the body that you want to turn into the gold color. As you can see here, I've already created a mask and it is ready to go for us to start working on. Creating this mask is not necessary, but it will make it easier for you to work with this image as you move forward, especially uh, if you want to blend it in with some other images. The first thing that we want to do with our new image before we dig into actually changing the color and, and making adjustments to it is we want to convert this to a smart object. By doing that we're going to have a lot more flexibility in duplicating and doing some other things with this image that would be a little more cumbersome using a standard multiple layer approach. So I want to go under Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Objects. And if you look over here again at our layer palette, you can see that that is now has the smart object uh, symbol for that particular layer. So how do we get the gold tone on our skin? Well, the fastest and simplest way to approach this is to utilize the foreground and background colors. But before we can actually utilize those, we need to determine what actually gold looks like. And it's best to have a reference to do that, although you're welcome to guess. I went to iSock.com and found this great image with some gold cups and saucers in them. And what we're looking for is a highlight area of gold and a shadow. Now the, these saucers have all kinds of shadow and darker areas of gold that we can pick from as well. The way that we select those to utilize in our gradient overlay is to go down to your foreground color, double click, you use the eyedropper tool and select a highlight gold area in one of these cups and I'm going to say OK. Go to your background color swatch, double click, and now we want to pick a shadow out of our gold saucer. And uh, I wouldn't pick something too dark because you're going to get a lot of black in it. You still want to make sure you get something with some color, but something that's in the shadows here that's a little bit dark. Uh, it looks like that will work great. And click OK. And now we have a gold color range selected based on something that in this case, this is something that I like that's gold, but you can find something that you like is gold. 
Now that exact same approach would also work if you found something green or blue that you wanted to use for the same effect. You would be looking for the light, the highlight of say a blue and the shadow of a blue area to apply use, utilizing this gradient overlay effect that I'm going to show. The next step is to add our gradient map. That's very easy to do. Just go to your adjustment layer icon here at the bottom of your layer palette. Click on that. That will bring up this list and gradient map is right here. Select that. It brings up this nice gradient map window. By default, it should pick up the two colors that you selected in your foreground and your background. If you did not get those colors, you can click here and select your foreground and background colors from this pop-up menu. Once you have that, that's all you need to do here. Also note that the blending mode for our adjustment layer is set to normal. So you should end up with something that looks similar to this at this stage of the process. Now we need to do a few things with some layers. You want to click on our original smart layer that we made of our image. Go up to your layer, smart objects, a new smart object via copy. Now back to our layer, you can see that our copy is here. We want to move this copy above the gradient mask that we put in a moment ago. And we want to change the blend mode for this duplicate to luminosity. It's way down here at the bottom. And now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. <laughs> hey campers, I've run out of time for this tutorial, but make sure and make your way over to Camp Photoshop Tutorial 008 where you'll see me finish up this technique of painting a woman gold. And uh, when we get finished over there at 008, it will look just like this. Raj, that looks great. You've reached the end of this camping trip. Hike over to CampPhotoshop.com where visitors can sign up for freebies and more video tutorials by Adobe Certified Expert and Camp Counselor, Roger Redpath.